hello guys most beautiful and precious people happy weekend to you i hope that you all are blessed and favored in the lord and i hope that you all are staying safe and staying well um so i have a word of the lord today and the word of the lord today is beware of what your eyes see and your ears hear and the lord was dealing with me about this yesterday because of some of the things that i say, saw um on social media you know things pertaining to youtube and you know what the word has been telling us about many false prophets arising in these times to deceive god's people and lead god's people astray you know so again you know the lord was dealing with me and he was just telling me and showing me you know over the course of the week and yesterday um just to beware of what our eyes see and what our ears hear because ultimately it can have an effect on our decision making our thinkings um and he can lead us uh, away from God, you know, and his divine will and purpose for our lives. You know, there was this movie I watched the other day called The Power of the Air. And it it just spoke about how, you know, Satan's main agenda is to lead us astray, to distract us from God's divine will and purpose. And he does that by, you know, um, the through the media, through the radio, through the television, through movies, you know, um, things of that nature, everything that's connected to a media source you know so we have to be very careful of what we allow into our spirits what we allow into our souls because our ears and our eyes are the gateways to our soul and so if we allow you know the things that we watch the things that we see the things that we hear to get into our soul that are not of god it can ultimately cause us to fall and lead us to destruction lead us to death you know lead us away from his course from his plan his will and desires for our lives so we have to be careful about that you know because we know that satan is the power of the air he's the prince of the air and so He's going to do whatever it takes to um, lead us astray from God's will, God's plan for our lives. So we have to be careful what our eyes see and what our ears hear. You know, there's um, many scriptures that the Lord has given me. And so it's just a lot. So I'll place them down in the, the, the um, description. Um, one of the, I do want to read a few of them. Um, this one, because I've been studying the book of James and Peter. And so this one is James 3, 5 through 10. And it says, likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great force is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire. A world of evil among the parts of the body it corrupts the whole body sets the whole course of one's life on fire and is itself set on fire by hell all kinds of animals birds reptiles and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind but no human being can tame the tongue it is a restless evil full of deadly poison with the tongue we praise our lord and father and with it we curse human beings who have been made in god's likeness out of the same mouth come praise and cursing my brothers and sisters this should not be james 1 5 nlt if you need wisdom ask our generous god and he will give it to you he will not rebuke you for asking second peter 2 1 ncv there used to be false prophets among god's people just as you will have some false teachers in your group they will secretly teach things that are wrong teachings that will cause people to be lost they will even refuse to accept the master jesus who bought their freedom so they will bring quick ruin on themselves jeremiah 23 28 let the prophet who has a dream recount the dream but let the one who has my word speak it faithfully for what has straw to do with grain matthew 24 11 nlt and many false prophets will appear and will deceive many people matthew 7 15 beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravenous wolves second timothy 4 3 nlt for it is coming for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching they will follow their own desires and look for teachers who will teach them what their itching ears want to hear so ultimately you know it's our deepest and hidden desires that causes us to follow after these false doctrines these false teachers because we're trying to fulfill those desires and god said in his word that if we would delight ourselves in him that he will give us the desires of our heart you know i'm not saying that it's anything wrong with you going to seminary school you know bible school ministry school things of this nature you know attending these prophetic meetings and things that they have um things of that nature especially if god has given you confirmation on that is what you need to do 
by all means don't go against the word of god don't go against what he's told you to do but what i'm saying is don't be so wrapped up in thinking that man can give you something that ultimately god can give you god is all knowing he's all powerful he has all wisdom he has all knowledge you know if there's any answers that you need to questions that need to be answered it's in the word of god there's nothing in that word that will not um give you the answers that you need to resolve life situations to overcome you know your problems your trials your fears all of these things you know it's right there in the word and god didn't write use people to write his word for no reason he's given us his word as a guide as a source of provision for us to be able to maneuver through daily life you know so the bible says that if anyone lacks wisdom go to god and ask god because he's a generous god who gives generously and he will not rebuke you for asking don't allow the enemy to think that to make you think that god will rebuke you you know he will turn you away for asking him for confirmation for asking him of things that you are lacking to fill those voids and areas in your life where you are lacking because that's not true you know the the enemy he's a deceiver he's a manipulator he's a liar and he wants you to think that god will turn you away and that's not true you know god is a loving god he's a generous god he's a faithful god he's married to his his word he's married to the backslider he's faithful in all that he does he's not a liar you know and he loves us you know why would someone give their son life for us to have life to be redeemed, to be restored back to him. You know, if that's not love, I don't know what is, but I just want you all to be careful because I see so many uh, prophets and prophets arising nowadays and they're taking the word of God out of context. That's why it's vital for you to have your own Bible and to read, excuse me, to read the word for yourself. Because if you don't know and read the word for yourself, you're going to be deceived by what you are hearing, by what you are seeing, because that's Satan's ultimate goal. He has people that he used to, you know, God used people. He used vessels, you know, um, and ultimately because um, Satan is a spirit and God is a spirit. They have to have a body. They have to have a vessel that they're, they use on the earth, you know, so as a source to accomplish their purpose their will so we have to be extremely careful what we allow our eyes to see and our ears to hear because we don't want to be led astray you know the the word says that the tongue is the smallest part of the body but it's a hell of fire it's a faint flaming fire it's evil it's poisonous and it's the same thing that can bless and curse at the same time. There's life or death in the power of the tongue. There's victory or defeat in the power of the tongue. So we have to be careful about our speech. We have to be careful about our teachings. We have to be careful about who we invite into our homes, who we invite into our spirits, who we invite into our lives, because ultimately the tongue, it is, it provides the course of our lives. You know, and so we can praise God. The word says we praise God with our tongue and then we curse the human beings who are also created, our brothers and sisters who are also created in the likeness and image of God. That's not of God. That's not right. That's not right at all. So please, please just be aware, you know, ask God for discernment, ask God for wisdom on if these per these people are coming in his name or truly sent by him because you don't want to be led astray. You know, you don't want to be thinking that you're, you're, um, listening to somebody who's sent by God and ultimately is really sent by the devil, you know, be careful, you know, because, um, the body says that the eyes give give off that light. You know, you can tell by our eyes, you know, what's ultimately in our soul. You know, if our soul is being fed by God, by the word of God. So, you know, you know, just please be careful, you know, who you are allowing into your home, who you're allowing to your spirit, because it's vital, especially in these times, you know, we need the Holy Spirit dwelling on the inside of us because he's our God. He's our teacher. He's our protector. He's our comforter. And he warns us when things are not right, when we're headed in the wrong direction, you know, he turns us back to the course of God. So please, please just be careful. Um, and ask God for discernment. Ask God to show you, you know, see 
things from his perspective see people from his perspective give him i give us eyes to see like he sees so that we are not led astray so that we are continuously in his will and not outside of his will because we don't want to be outside of his will you know we want to be under god's protection we want to be under the will of God because if we're not inside of the will of God Satan can have his way with us and we don't want Satan to have his way with us you know we our ultimate goal is eternal life you know that's why Jesus came and died for us because so that we can be have um, eternal life forever with him and, and, and God so don't let don't be led astray by what you see and what you hear because you are not willing to get in the word of god yourself you're you're taking the easy way out because you're itching ears because you have itching ears and you want your itching ears to be scratched because the hidden desires of your heart so god i think i thank you all for listening to this word i hope that it blesses you all i hope that it opens your eyes to see that the word is unfolding every day the word of god is unfolding every day and if they're not if you're not reading the word of god for yourself and understanding and getting the wisdom and the revelation from god and the holy spirit to understand that people um the devil knows the word too when he came to jesus he he threw the word back at jesus so don't think that his people don't know the word those he he's using don't know the word you just have to distinguish and have the discernment to know if it's really from god and if it's sent really from him because the, the devil was taking the word out of context he was using it to manipulate jesus for his own agenda so be careful be careful to know the word for yourself. To know and under get in the word. It's not easy, even if it's just a scripture a day. Get in the word. The Bible says that if you don't have the Holy Holy Spirit dwelling inside of you, you can't understand the things of the word because you need the Holy Spirit on the inside of you to understand God's word. But because the Holy Spirit is a part of God. Jesus is a part of God, you know, that the, the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit teaches us all things, reveals all truth to us. And we need that, especially in these times, seeing that the word of God is revealing itself every day, coming to pass every day. So just beware of what your eyes see and your ears hear. God is with you. He's walking with you and he will reveal all things in his time. The truth will set you free. The truth will be revealed. You just need to lean on God and ask God to reveal the truth for you. And he will do just that because he's a God that loves you. And he's a God that wants you. To, he wants you to prosper. He wants to give you a hope and a future that expected in. So you guys continue to enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. God bless you. I love you. And I'm praying for you guys. See you later.